One of the questions that we do get on a consistent basis is, how did relative humidity come to be? Uh, we talk about the scientific pedigree that backs it up and people just really wanting to understand more what that scientific pedigree is. So this video is an explanation of how the very depth specific measurements came to be in establishing the what is now F2170 standard for in situ relative humidity testing. So as we take a look at this graph or specifically the vertical axis, this is depicting at what depth we are in comparison to the overall thickness of the slab. The horizontal axis is the relative humidity readings that you would get at those various levels. When a concrete or when concrete is poured, it is a consistent relative humidity from top to bottom in that slab. As it has conditions that are appropriate or conducive for drying, the concrete will start to establish a moisture gradient where it's less moisture on the top and more moisture on the bottom. Now that's great until we put a low permeable membrane or some kind of flooring finish on top of the slab because once that happens, then the moisture actually has to re-equilibrate or equalize from top to bottom. And so by drilling to that 40% depth within the slab that's drying from one side, the relative humidity measurement that you get at that point is actually the same level that will be transferred or equalized to the surface. So in essence, by drilling down and measuring at that 40% depth, you're able to predict or know what the moisture level will be at on the surface of the slab and what will come in contact with that finished floor covering. 